May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. Hi, and welcome back to Copying the Master, where we simply paint that which we see and copy scripture to learn from God and His Word. Today we continue to ponder on the commentary adapted from the Matthew Henry Commentary of the Psalms. A psalm that shows us the will of God, His will for prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving, His will in asking others to pray for us. David wrote this psalm as a requested prayer given to his congregation for himself and for those in authority under him. From Scripture, we know that even those who knew how to pray for themselves desire the prayer of others for them. Apostle Paul, in the New Testament, often asked his friends to pray for him. David was not different. He desired the prayers of others, for trouble was not something he escaped because of his crown on his head or even the grace in his heart. Do you neglect praying for yourself or asking others to pray for you? We should be encouraged to know it is okay for us to want others to pray for us, even telling them exactly what we would have them pray to God for. But prayer from others must not replace our own prayer for ourselves. For we also know that even though David had prophets and priests and many other good people among him to pray for him, he did not think that excused him from praying himself. He himself was a man of devotion. Therefore, we must be devoted ourselves. The psalm continues with requests of God to enable David to go on in his battles, that he would send him help out of the sanctuary and strength out of Zion. Help out of the sanctuary are mercies, which are the tokens of God's particular love. Strength of Zion is spiritual strength, strength in the soul, in the inward man. David continues with asking the Lord to remember all the offerings and burnt sacrifices according to the law of that time. This is now prayer for God to accept our spiritual sacrifices, when by His Spirit, he burns a holy fire of righteousness and holy devotion to Him in our hearts. He also prays for the Lord to grant Him according to His own heart, a heart that was after God's own heart. If we have the heart that longs to glorify God more than anything, we may expect God, in one way or another, to fulfill our desires. Our heart purposes will succeed. With confidence, the prayer continues with an answer of peace. We will rejoice in your salvation. We will rejoice in your power and promise to save. The prayer then goes into the second part, the part of recognition. From verses 6 to 9, David expresses his understanding. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven. He sees how many are praying for him, 
and therefore he does not doubt. There will be an answer. God will hear him with the saving strength of his right hand. He will give an answer to his prayers and the prayers of his friends for him by what he does for him. The Israelites did not have chariots and horses to trust in, but what they did have was built on their God, the name of the Lord their God. We will remember the name of our Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. And then the psalm ends, again with a request, Save, Lord, may the King answer us when we call. As we have read and pondered on Psalm 20, may we, like David, continue in prayer, continue in requesting others to pray for us, especially when we are in battle, and ourselves pray for those who ask of us. Knowing that we have Christ, who did the work of our redemption, who made war on the power of darkness, and in the day of trouble when his soul was especially sorrowful, God heard him and sent him help. God accepted his burnt sacrifice and granted him according to his heart's desire fulfilling all his requests for himself and for us. Therefore continue to request your prayer and trust and believe in Christ, the King of Kings who receives all your petitions and presents them to the Father. And the Father answers with his right hand. Thank you for watching this video. If it has blessed you in some way, please share your thoughts in the comment. Subscribe and come back every Thursday for more art and scripture journaling. May God bless you as you seek Him and glorify Him in all that you do.